Hey y'all, back again. Here we are. Um, I wanted to cover this Eugenia Cooney interview just because some people have mentioned it. Apparently Jeffree Star comes on. We can see what goes on during it and everything. Um, the person that's interviewing her, I am not familiar with them. Um, I think that the, I think that this is like a TikTok thing. TikTok was a little bit after me i think that you know in my prime and everything i think that i was like vine instagram that was like the big thing when i was growing up and everything rich lux oh okay so he's he's older than me um by three years so he's eugenia's age 93 no he'd be 29 eugenia's turning 29 okay so they're both like late 20s He's an American YouTuber and drag queen. So he's a he's a YouTuber. Is he is he TikTok related to? Addressing the lies. Okay, so I, I guess regardless, um, they are related to social media and like the social media icons. Like when I'm looking up this person's name, I'm seeing like a lot of like affiliation with James Charles and Nikita Dragon and things like that. So I'll just assume that they do something along the lines of uh, social media and the people that get talked about in social media and everything. But anyway, um, this person does an interview with Eugenia June 25th. So what was that, Sunday? Let's just hop in, see what they kind of talk about and everything. And I don't know, I might skip around a little bit. I don't exactly know what goes on in this interview, but let's give it a look, shall we? Jeffrey, you're back. <laughs> we were doing interviews. <laughs> Y'all better stop. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lick, and I'm here with Eugenia Cooney. And this is Rich Lux in bed with Eugenia Cooney. All right, so we're gonna try to attempt this interview with you. Okay. We have people okay. live in the comments. You guys, you can ask comments, keep it classy, nothing disrespectful. Okay, first, my thing is, did you have any nicknames growing up? I actually didn't, which I know is probably so crazy because I have like the weirdest name. See, like I said, mine was Richie Rich. I feel like everyone, well not everyone, I feel like most people have like a, like a nickname growing up but you didn't at all that's so cute I, okay. I know it's always so weird it's like my name people always i give everyone a nickname just because i think that one syllable in a name is enough i mean if you want to call me jord and not jordy i totally understand i mean it's just way more effort i mean could you could you imagine jordy oh god you're exhausted by the time you get to that second syllable i mean people with three syllables that's very highbrow to me it's like all right, we're doing that. But I mean, four syllables. I mean, come on, four syllables. That's kind of why when Eugenia was saying her name, like Eugenia, I mean, four syllables. You really want me to speak for that long just to address you once? I mean, you're always, I'm, I'm always going to shorten the name a bit to just one thing. So I mean, like a name like Rich, that's great. I mean, Tom lovely jen oh great eugenia uh, i don't know about that so for a name like eugenia i would maybe bring it down to huge i don't think she'd like that oh how is it how has it been treating you over here thank you i've been so much fun over here like i've been really loving it on here and like it's it's a lot of fun you know i guess like before this i was on youtube for like Ever. and I'm still like over there too, but yeah. I don't know, YouTube, like, like TikTok, it's kind of different. It seems like there's so many cool people coming over here and just like a lot more people kind of like watching and, and I feel like it's yeah. cool too, because like even the people like you and Jeffrey and people, like, we get to like kind of like talk and like, I don't yeah. know, you really connect with a lot of cool people. So I think it's a lot of fun. Yes. Randy, okay guys, all, all the gifters will be shouted out. All gifters will be shouted out. I guess my next question, it would be like, what made you jump on the internet to begin with? Like, how did it all start? I guess I was just kind of bored. And like, I, I, I wait, Rich, have you ever been on You Now? Like way back in the day? You Now days, yes, in the yeah. You Now days. So I had a, I had a, a friend of mine named Ben Luke. She used to be on there. Yeah, and I, I remember you on, you remember Ben Luke? She yeah, was on yeah. there. Like at least to me, it was kind of starting to go downhill and you were kind of starting to see a lot more people go to like YouTube or yeah. um, Twitch. All these other places so i guess eventually i was just kind of like you know thought it was kind of time to move on but that's kind of where i started i was just kind of bored and i was just kind of like oh cool like yeah. i was on it way back when you could be like 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys all for the gifts. You guys are so sweet. Um, and then like I was just kind of like, um, yeah, like I guess I just kind of tried it out and <laughs> yeah. Okay. So so I'm gonna okay, so Adam Baccarat Baccarat again. I mean, you get a lot of social interaction when you are a social media icon like this, if I guess if you would want to call her that. Um but I think that she told us in former videos that she had a lot of issues growing up and everything. So I don't know. Do we, do we see that? Do you guys see that in your day to day? I mean, just like people who prefer to have relationships and friendships and interaction and communication with people through a screen versus actually being together in person. And I mean, you know, taking a step further in that, I mean, is that wrong? Is that bad? Is that somewhere that's kind of a slippery slope that we shouldn't be heading as a society? It's like, oh, no, people should be talking face to face. I mean, I know that if you ask certain demographics that didn't grow up with technology and everything, they would tell you, yes, you need to have, you know, you need to break bread with people. You need to sit down. You need to have a talk. You need to, you know, touch them and feel that. Well, OK, maybe not touch them and feel them. Talk to them face to face. So I don't know, just someone like for Eugenia who said that she kind of had issues with growing up and bullying and everything. Um, she's been able to, you know, have this option that millennials and Gen Z have where they can kind of create a life at home through these screens. And I feel like as a species, kind of where we're headed, it's inevitable. I mean, I, I say all the time, I think that school – K through 12, I think that it will be all online very soon. I think that it saves so much money. And, but I mean, just the complications that comes with that and everything. It's like, you know, kids won't get social interaction. They won't be around other people. They won't learn things like uh, sharing and personal space and taking turns. And I, I don't know, but I just, I do. I, I feel like it's inevitable eventually. And it's, it'll just be interesting to see. I'm, all gifters will be shouted out. Asked if she has a five-year plan. If so, what? So, like, I'll answer that one for myself because I, I have a five-year plan, and it's it's to continue to grow my YouTube. <laughs> Ask her if she has a five-year plan, <laughs> and and then he Kanye uh, Taylor Swift mics her. All right, all right, let me, let, all right so my five-year plan. <laughs> Continue to grow TikTok, continue to grow on social media. That's my fire. Just continue to grow it. Okay, so what's your five year plan? I mean, like, like, I guess for me, it's like kind of the same. Yeah. Like, thank you for the glasses on. <laughs> I kind of feel like whenever I tell people that, they're like, yeah, Eugenia, like, that's not a plan. Like, which um, I'm like, whatever. But I guess no, that's kind of like how I like. I, don't know. I think that Eugenia is very content with how things are going right now. I mean, I, I just, you know, recently covered some footage of her from what she was doing two years ago and everything. I mean, she was talking about how she was doing driving lessons and wanted to get a car soon and everything. And uh, I don't know if she's ever had plans to move or anything like that. But I think in terms of the social media, uh, doing stuff with her mom, going shopping locally, playing games, streaming on Twitch. I, I think that her right now, I, I think that she's very content with the way things are going. Is this a sustainable lifestyle? Is this something that can be kept up for years and years to come? Most of the people in the audience would say, no, absolutely not. And I'll tell you why. But she seems to think so. And she seems to be happy with it. So do I expect Eugenia to make many changes, if, if any, in the next five years? Just going off a track record, I would say no way where i'm like yeah just kind of keep working on you know i guess like youtube tiktok social media yeah. stuff <laughs> so like uh, next question is um okay so a friend of mine he said like when i he kind of introduced me to you he was like yeah so there's going to eugenia she's like really popular online she gets driven everywhere in black suvs and she's learning how to drive right now is that true did you ever learn how to drive okay that might have been from um <laughs> I don't know if you like know some of the stuff that like people have like kind of said about me and like drive. No, no, I don't know anything. I just know oh, that there were, I was like it's kind of like a lot. Like it's Well, I mean, there's a big difference there. Getting driven around in black SUVs, I mean, that kind of sounds like something, you know, you would see on like the Kardashians or, you know, something that you would hear like a billionaire or like someone getting a police escort and everything. I mean, 
driving around in the black SUVs. I don't know if they're SUV that they take out into the town in Connecticut or wherever. I don't know if it's black, but I mean, the reason why she's getting driven around isn't because it's, you know, of like Uber wealth and fame and like, you know, the reasons why someone would commonly have a chauffeur it's, you know, because the mom kind of does everything. Okay. So driving. And then I just have to wonder, I mean, for someone that is watching and has watched Eugenia and knows a little bit about her lifestyle and what she does and the things that she, you know, does in her day to day and everything, I guess if you were someone that knew of Eugenia, but didn't watch her, like he kind of describes here, it's like, Oh, I heard you get driven around in black SUVs. Like it just makes me think, are there actually other people out there on the internet that think that Eugenia is some high profile, high class celebrity that has, you know, tons and tons and tons of money that, uh, you know, at the point where she's getting a chauffeur, because I mean, if you have a chauffeur, it's because you don't need to drive. You don't, you know, someone else can do it for you. It's a nuisance, but it's not really like that necessarily. So I just wonder, I mean, is there a portion of people out there that don't know, but think of her that way? Like driving a car, what they're talking about, right? I, yeah, I actually didn't learn how to drive until like recently. Um, they're, they're kind of more like stories about me having like- But this, it sucks like, though, but driving sucks. I because know, like, I like it's kind of Connecticut funny. traffic sucks, Houston traffic sucks, LA traffic So like, I know, okay, for a like I know how to drive, but I just prefer to or, or get, call like a car service because I just, I, I get frustrated in the cars. Like, you know, I don't know, I get frustrated driving and I'd rather be in the back, like working on my phone or something. Because I saw like, pictures of you like in the back seat, like going places. And so you, I'm like, there she goes. Maybe not as soon as like K through 12 being cyber school and everything. But I do think as a society, we are definitely moving toward the smart cars and everything. I remember my, during my freshman year of college, like the big thing out in Phoenix was these, you know, first uh, ever self-driving cars. It was like Uber's big announcement and everything. And I remember seeing one on the streets and just thinking like, oh my God, this is the future. But I mean, that was eight years ago. And, you know, you just don't really, I mean, you do, but you don't. Like, you kind of see things like that and everything. But I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be 30, 40, 50 years from now and everything. But I think that most people view driving as a nuisance. And if they could, they would just rather get in a car and have a robot take them to and from where they need to go. Uh, I don't know. This has kind of been like a futuristic kind of interview, and I don't know why the conversation keeps getting brought to that. <laughs> I don't know why I keep thinking to talk about these kind of things. But and then, then I, I saw I saw like this thing on the news recently. It was like, um, you know teens don't want to drive they just don't have any interest in driving anymore i mean when i was 16 people were salivating to go get their driver's permit i mean that was the big thing that was monumental that was an exciting i mean milestone in your life i mean when i turned 16 what would that have been 2013 20 yes yeah, like 10 years ago Oh my gosh, I just remember, like, that's your freedom, you know, it's like, get you out of the house, and you can hang out with your friends, go anywhere, and now it's like, oh, I don't want to, I kind of just want to stay at home, and if I do need to go somewhere, I want someone to take me to that place. I wonder if that's the norm. I mean, I'm not really well-versed with, you know, the younger crowd, I guess. I mean, why would I be? I don't hang out with 16-year-olds or anything. <laughs> I don't know. For those of you who like have kids or, you know, know of kids or like maybe you're like a teacher or something, know of kids. <laughs> do you think that it's a, th is that a thing? Like do, do kids not really care anymore? I, Cause I, that was so not the case 10 years ago with me. I'm driven around. So I'm not, I can hate on it. I love it. Thank you. Yeah, because, like, I don't know. Like, I know some people will think it's, like, really weird, but that's kind of how I am. Like, to be honest, like, I'm not really a huge fan of driving. And it can be kind of scary. Like, in my area right now, too, I see, like, all of these, like, accidents, like, all the time. Brandy, thank you for the money gun. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. That's so sweet. <laughs> you just popped out. <laughs> okay, okay. So, if you were to drive, what car, what is your dream car? Hmm. Is it a Beetle? Oh my god, I just looked down into the chat for the first time and all I see is ignoring us doesn't help. Her mom is 
you're not driving because of we care about you, Eugenia. So I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, is, is the whole point of this interview? I mean, are people just kind of overlooking everything that they're talking about? Because I've been watching the interview and I've been kind of following along and you know what they're talking about and everything, but kind of seems like the chat is kind of focused on one thing, which is the case when covering this kind of content. Okay. So next question, did you see the little mermaid movie? I actually didn't. I've been hearing kind of like mixed things. Is it good? Oh, thanks for that. Oh, yeah. Well, it'll come on like on Disney Plus and you can just watch it there. Yeah. I, I felt like it was too much, too much computerized stuff. Like, <laughs> 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 so are you playing currently? I, I haven't started it actually yet, but I want to play. Have you heard of like the, the new like Final Fantasy? Like 16? Yes. Yeah. I, I, I really like the Final Fantasy games. So I kind of like, yeah, I think I'm probably going to. Yes, it's the best one. Oh. And then, uh, let me see what else. I'm trying to think. And the, the other game I play on there, I love Dead by Daylight. I love. Um... When I play it, I'm like, I'm so bad. I'm just like. Well, there's like a strategy to it. You know, like okay. I just, everyone, has a good, everyone has like a different strategy. I guess they guys maybe it's like these. I know. I actually haven't really. I've had have some you... done for me, kind of like on YouTube. But that's kind of. Really? Good. Okay, yeah. okay. Like, have you, have you had them? Like, do you do them? No. Oh, okay. No, but. but... Okay. <laughs> Kind of a lot. When does Jeffrey Star come in? <laughs> okay. Oh God. There's seven minutes until Jeffrey shows up. Okay. <laughs> so Je Jeffrey Star, for some reason, is going to come in. <laughs> I kind of just want to skip right to it. I don't know. Do they? But I mean, if, if they just keep talking about like Disney Plus and like gaming and things like that, I don't mean I don't. Inspires you the most inspires me the most um let's see well i think like you know like 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 good people in the world like such as like rich you know oh, like like jeffrey shane like you know good people that are like exist back for <laughs> blood like, back for blood is a game did i just hear that correctly <laughs> and then she's fixing her hair because she knows that the, that that response is kind of cringe <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't we're gonna replay it I, I didn't hear the initial part of that conversation I, I think that he asked her who who inspires you the most or what inspires you the most and Eugenia's response was good people like rich people like Jeffrey and Shane <laughs> This can't be real. Oh, hold on. What? One more time. Cats. Cats. Oh, nice. Cat. Oh, so cute. Yeah, that was cute. That was just cute. Oh my gosh, I've never seen one like that. That sounds adorable. Oh, so a question from Rock and Robin: What inspires you the most? Inspires me the most. Um, let's see. Well, I think like you know, like 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 good people in the world, like such as like rich, you know, oh, like like Jeffrey, Shane, like you know, good people that are like exist. Back for blood. <laughs> Back for blood is the game. Back for so. Good and rich are synonymous for her. <laughs> and then those attributes are assigned to Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. <laughs> okay. Blood. What's going on? Back for Blood. Back for Blood? Is that is that yeah. like a, a a game? It's like uh it's like Left 4 Dead, but like part two. Oh, Back for Oh yeah. Oh. I think Rich kind of put it together right there. It's like, all right, hard pivot. Let's see. <laughs> I just asked her what inspired her, and she said, "Rich people." <laughs> Hard pivot. Oh, Left 4 Dead Part Three. About that, I think. Back for Blood. Yeah, I love that game. I, and you can play with four friends, just like run around shooting zombies. Because I love zombie movies. Like, like, okay, one of my goals in life is to be a zombie in a movie. His videos and stuff, and like, if he casts you as a zombie, it's gonna be like some some questions. Like, everyone ask some good questions here. Rich is amazing, so um, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do some questions. Can you say hi, Yolanda? Hi. <laughs> Yolanda, okay. Yolanda, okay, I don't hate anyone, just Yolanda. Because she Yolanda. murdered Selena. So I just do not like Yolanda. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm not talking about Yolanda. I hate Yolanda. No, this, hate her so much. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What is his favorite movie? Oh, Showgirls. Showgirls? Oh, I've never seen that. Yeah. It's my favorite movie. It's about a girl. It's a very, very good movie. And then they, they do this a lot. Oh, it flopped. No one liked it. But now it's like a cult classic. Like people are like obsessed over it. Come on, ask her more general pageant answers. You know, like what's what's the perfect date? What's uh 
what's something that happened to you as a child that you still think about today? Like what's, um, who, who's your, who's your hero? Who's, I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if I'm going to answer those kind of, those kind of questions again. <laughs> I don't know. Like rich, good people. <laughs> Sometimes it's sometimes like a movie, like, won't well, like, like, not really. I guess a lot of people know about it, but then it just kind of like blows up. Yes. So I gotta see that. How do you both handle hate? Oh, you wanna go first or me? Oh, you wanna go first, Rich? Okay, so I had it because, like, my dad growing up was like very, like, like, um, verbally abusive. So he would always say mean things all the time. And so it just caused me to get like a thick skin, you know? And because my mom was like, he doesn't mean it, he doesn't mean it, whatever. And so it, to, then I once, then I got old to me, I'm just like, what, it doesn't bother me. Like, so that's how I take it. Cause I take it because I just, I lie. Like, you're going to know where you're going to go. Okay, so how, do, so how do you handle online negativity? So me, I guess it's like, I don't know, you know, I guess at this point, I, I'm kind of so used to like getting it and I get like, I guess like all sorts of bad comments and stuff like that. So it's kind of like the same, like, like, like Rich is saying, like, I think you just kind of have to try to like remember that I think like a lot of those people, if they're kind of just like spending all their time just going and like hating on other people and just being like really mean, like chances are they're probably not very happy, like in their own life maybe. And I guess like, you know, you just have to try to focus on the positive people. Just try to like keep going. Like don't let those people like get you down too much, if that makes yeah. sense. But what about the people that actually, you know, want to reach out and give you constructive criticism and help you and kind of point you in the right direction? Because overwhelmingly what I see in the response to her channel and her presence online and everything is people that want to reach out and offer assistance or help or, you know, you know some type of something. They want to say please let, let me let me do something let me do I, I don't know so i mean I, I don't think that she definitely does receive the hate i mean you know we've seen in you know videos that she's made and you know comments and whatever that she does receive those kind of messages and everything but i, I just see overwhelmingly it's it's sympathy it's people trying to reach out so, I mean, I don't know. D does she just think that the people that are trying to reach out and help or, you know, lend an olive branch or something to, does, does she just think that, you know, th they're, they're the haters. They're, it's, they're the, they're the people that are trolling her. They're the people that are, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Any more? Let's see. Any, any other comments guys for Rich? You guys have any, like any really good questions? We got You're a good interviewer. You should do that. You should really? do that. Oh, thank you. I was like, I hope I'm doing okay. Um, some of them are so, who inspires him? Okay. That's a good one. Okay. Who, it's not who, it's just like, it's like a, what it's like, I find inspiration in themes. Um, not just people that just like, just like in themes, like art and creativity that's that inspired me. Cause like, I think we live in a world where like everything's been and like, hi, can I help you? And I'm like, I'll do it. And I find something else I inspire. I don't really dwell in New York City underground scene. I really do like um, the Mexican clowns who perform. You have to be like a person. It can just kind of be like, you know, just like things you're interested in life or like whatever. Yes. So like, that's, that's awesome. All right, we're going to flip it back. Okay. All right. All right. I'm ready. Question from She They said, ask Eugenia what her favorite childhood memory is. My favorite childhood memory. Hmm. I'm like, what would it be? I mean, I used to play with a lot of Bratz dolls. Like, I had some good times. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, guess who's back? Oh. Back in, back in town. Oh, so shut it down. Back, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, oh. Jeffrey, you're back. <laughs> we were doing interviews. Y'all better stop. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with my battle? Rich is totally frozen. Oh. No. Oh. no. <laughs> Jeffrey tripping. Oh no. Jeffrey just popped in. Jeffrey's like, I don't want any part of this. <laughs> this isn't worth my time. I'm going to go feed my yak. So really, uh, your favorite childhood memory is you playing with brat stalls? That kind of seems like a very underwhelming general answer. I mean, I don't know. You'd think that that like an answer like that would be like something from family or you know an achievement that you had or an award you won or playing with brat stalls. 
<laughs> Jeffrey oh Star popped in and popped out. Right <laughs> Jeffrey Boom Boom Star. No. <laughs> that was funny. Dania, or she just, well, we'll just wrap it up. I don't think. Is she like nice or is she like legit like me? <laughs> no, I think she's nice. I think okay. she's nice. She's just very quirky. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Let me see. Let me see. That sounds fun. Um, I asked Eugenia if she has any pets. I do. I have a dog. His name is Liz. He's like, it's a pug. He's really, really cute. <laughs> People won't stop asking me that. Then is yesterday, it, the I rumors like, are, the other day. The rumor oh, I'm not pregnant. Oh, I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> People won't stop asking me that. Then is yesterday, it, the I rumors like, are, the, other day, the rumors are you're pregnant. Everyone is it keeps true? saying this. And then I told them they're not. I'm not. And then they just keep telling me. They're like, we can all see that you are Eugenia. Stop gaslighting everyone. Uh, is there any any country you want to travel to? I like to go to Japan. Japan. Yeah. That would be cool. And then she, and you, don't have, you don't have to ask. I mean, that's a joke, right? The people that are saying that are trolling. She knows, she, she knows that. She she has to. You like you you would never take like that's silly. Answer this one if it's too personal. Okay. So just say no comment. Okay. So they said, how is your mom doing with her grandmother? Oh, it's fine. Thank you for asking that. Honestly, like it's been kind of like a lot recently with her because like lately it's just kind of been she hasn't really been doing like the best. Like she's had a lot of days where she's just been like really kind of like tired, or, like out of it, kind of. Um, so um that's where it's like yeah i guess it's been like kind of hard for my mom right now but you know we're just kind of trying to help her as much as we can and okay. i guess be there for her okay. as much as we can and again you can say no comment to this one okay. axel said does she have a crush i don't really right now i don't think <laughs> you have a crush right now all the guys are upset They're like what oh. Oh well she got married remember Literally, well, you can't see it right now because she's leaned forward, but, it, you know, it's the Tim Burton thing. She would married that thing, remember? Okay, here we go. It's a good one. If there's a movie based on your life, Eugenia, who would you want to play you? I would want Rick Flesh to play you. <laughs> <laughs> <What> the... <laughs> that's, a... that's a good one. I that's feel like he's just like, you know, he's a king. Who would play a good Eugenia Cooney if they were to ever make a v movie about her? I don't know why Kristen Stewart comes to mind. Maybe Kristen Stewart. Um, there's another actress. Oh my God, what is her name? She's from... I, it's a movie I saw recently. It's like where these like rich people go to an island and they try this like crazy food. And then like the the head chef is like insane. And like he tells all them like by the end of the night, you will all be dead. And like there's a girl in that movie. Who is what is that girl's name? Anya Taylor Joy. I can maybe see Anya Anya Anya. I think it's Anya. This girl. This this girl, this actress, Anya Taylor Joy. I could see maybe her doing that. How old is Kristen Stewart now? How old was she when she did Twilight? She probably looked to be like how old is she? I remember this one movie of Kristen Stewart. It was like, oh, she's 33. I actually thought that she was older than that. Huh. I just remember Kristen Stewart. It seemed like yesterday she was filming that one movie, um, Panic Room, where she's like a diet. She's a diabetic, and she's in the room, and they break in, and the mom is like trying to save them or whatever. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I would dress up. Okay, okay, well, okay. So if I, if I, I, I want you, because <laughs> <you're probably. laughs> yeah, that is everything. Okay. <laughs> right, so Thank I you, Morgan. What I'm into, like I don't. Well, it's like opens, but like I probably still need to pull it out of the bag. Okay. But it's ready. So okay, I'll be right back, Rich. Right. Okay, guys. I'm back, everyone. So we're gonna entertain you guys until Eugenia Cooney gets back. All right. So I asked if she has any collabs coming soon. Okay, we can. Av like, oh, like an average. Uh oh. I think she's back. She's back in town to shut it down. I've returned. Oh. Hello. Yes. Yeah, okay. I got the nun. <laughs> okay. This is actually going to be my first time. 
taking this out. <laughs> How does it work? <laughs> so it's really easy. It's just like a long black thing, right? Okay. But it's mainly about like the head piece. The head piece. <laughs> You guys, so this this coming uh, fall, this coming fall is the hottest movie out right now, which is The Nun 2, okay? And you guys remember on the first one, they banished the demon to hell. Well, I don't know how it came. It's like, once it's like done done, it's going to be perfect. Rich comes up with like the best like ideas. <laughs> He's a pro. I'm going to look at the photo then again, whenever you have time. Yeah, but I'll just, wait. listen, I'm going to wait. I, I'm, I'm like, it goes like that and like that. Okay. I'm just, oh yes, but it does look like it comes with a hood. Oh yes, okay, American Angel asks, what is your fragrance? Like what is, oh, yeah. Good one, um, mine, I like flower bomb. <sighs> okay, so we're near on the end here. We have like maybe a minute and 30 seconds left. Um, I just want to see the very end. I, I'd imagine that it's some type of like clickbaity thing, but it says I make her cry. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna assume that that's the end of the video. So, all right. I mean, we we have a nun costume, and now we're talking about perfume. Let's just get to the very end where she quote unquote cries, or he quote unquote makes her cry, or whatever. Let's just. Uh... Wow. Okay. Well. I think we pretty much asked her every question. Yeah, you that, guys did a good. So this was the most intense interview you have ever done. Ever. You're so, a really good. You're a really good interviewer. And I pass it. Crap. I mean, it, 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 we don't have much time left. I mean, if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Rich, like. Okay, got. Okay, Eugenia, check this out. Here's. Okay. You know, I love a good clickbait. Yes. You know? So I'm gonna put this part of the interview in the beginning of the video. Okay. So all you have to do is pretend like you're crying okay. and say, I can't believe you asked me that. Okay. And then get up and walk away. Okay. Are you kidding me? <sighs> what? I like a good click. I mean, this, this wasn't even clickbait. I mean, clickbait is least staged. You, you guys, <laughs> you guys rehearsed clickbait. <laughs> Oh, that's underwhelming. Uh, but like, notice how this video featured Jeffree Star for 10 seconds. And then at the very end, Rich says, uh, hey, I just need you to act out this clickbait so that my video can get more views. Is that okay? So 10 seconds of Jeffree Star coming on and saying two words. And then at the very end, hey, I need you to do this. That made up the title in the thumbnail. <laughs> That's YouTube for ya. Oh, no, no, no. That's not even you. That's, uh, well, I guess this was uploaded to YouTube, but TikTok. That's TikTok for ya. Oh, look. Apparently, Colleen Ballinger, Ballinger got canceled. Where do I know her from? Colleen Ballinger. Who is Colleen Ballinger? I know, like, I recognize that person. Maybe not by that name. American comedian. Miranda Sings. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the girl that talks like this. Miranda, Miranda Sings. Why'd she get canceled? Uh, all the allegations against her is accused of trauma dumping, sending suggestive messages to... Oh... Colleen ba Miranda Sings is in some hot water. That's no good. Oh, did y'all hear about this? <laughs> Miranda ain't singing no more. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that that's it for this video. Um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for hopping along.